special way, I wish to thank His Excellency the President of William Ruto and the United Democratic Alliance's leadership for finding it fit to have me as the national chair of the ruling party. This position is of great benefit to the people of Embu and gives me a platform to negotiate with the government for development projects. I'm happy to inform this house that we have benefited greatly through projects funded by the two levels of government. Allow me to point out the key development projects born out of our exceptional relationship with the national government and more so His Excellency the President. Number one, the construction and development of EMPO Ultra Modern Market. This project, which is worth close to one billion, courtesy of the State Department of Housing and Urban Development, we have also been able to secure yet another major market for the latest <coughs> town at a cost of about 250 million, and it was also advertised yesterday, Tuesday, 5th March 2024. Through the same partnership and collaboration as postulated in Article 186 of our Constitution, M County, together with the Ministry of Investment, Trade and Industry, are developing the Embu County Aggregation and Industrial Park at Mashaha in Vere South at a tune of 500 million, where the county government is offering this project at a cost of 250 million. Embu County was the second county in, Embu to, in Kenya to embrace the affordable housing project, which is extensive the president launched on the 26th of May 2023. To realize this project, the county identified and gazetted 24 acres of land through the Department of Lands and Urban Development. The first 100 units at 90% completion in Majipo area of Betino. Under the Finance and Economic Planning Department, the focus of finance has been largely on streamlining <coughs> and reforming the uh, revenue collection. To this end, the government has started the process of acquiring a new revenue management system in collaboration with State Department for ICT and Safari. We shall be allocating funds in the next financial year to ensure proper automation of our revenue collection. My administration embarked on implementing the task force's recommendations, which included some surgery on the senior staff, enhancing the workforce through hiring of critical staff and purchase of motor vehicles for ECRA, M County Revenue Authority, and implementing a cashless system of revenue collection. Honorable members, the changes that we have made have had significant positive impact on the revenue collected. We were able to move our revenue from 394 million in the financial year 2021-2022 to 680 million in the financial year 2022-2023. The county is projecting to achieve the 1 billion target in the financial year 23-24, especially with the new revenue management system. We now have a functional and county revenue board that has been just sworn in this morning that will be ahead revenue man collection management. I therefore look forward to increased revenue collection and management to enable us to finance our operations in service.